morning, everybody. Well, today I'm making a devil's food chocolate cake. It's delicious. It's yummy. We've been having some issues with cake sticking. So somebody told me try parchment paper. Well, let's see if parchment paper works. We're adding in one half cup of uh, regular cocoa into one cup of water. Now, what we want this to, what we want this to do is we're going to mix this together. I'm going to stir it. Kids, please don't try this. It's very unsweetened, and I don't think you're going to like this at all. It's no sugar in this. I have not added my sugar in yet. And what I want to do is I want this to sit just for a few minutes. We'll stir everything and make sure there's nothing, no lumps, no bumps in here. So we're going to let this sit and cool off for about 10 minutes, and I'll be back, and then we'll go to the next step. Okay. Sorry about that, folks, for that minute, for that second. We're going to add in two cups of granulated sugar. What we're going to do is we're going to cream the sugar, and we also have a half a cup of butter in here. It's like one stick of butter. We're adding in two cups of sugar. Okay. Now, we still don't know what's causing the stick. I'm thinking, I'm blaming it on humidity, but we just don't know. Somebody told me it could also be, a, it could be the cake pan is scratch. We just don't know, folks. All right, two cups of granulated sugar. And we'll see what happens to that. Let's just hope for the best. Okay, now we're going to mix this together, we're going to cream this together, and then we're going to add in the two eggs and the vanilla, then we'll go to the dry. I'll get my water over here. It's time that you always need water. We're going to cream this together. All right, we're adding in two, four, two eggs, sorry about that folks, two eggs, one at a time. Folks, keep this in mind, this is made with butter. This time, this is not oil-based. This is a butter-based cake. Here we go. One more egg. Okay. Okay, you want it fluffy like this. Now, the next thing I want to add in is, is a teaspoon of vanilla. Vanilla always enchants it, even if it's a chocolate cake, it gives a little bit of enchantment. Often you could add in like a, maybe a quarter cup of coffee if you have it in the house. That could also go very good with it. Okay, now we're going to go to the dry. Okay, we're going to add in two and one quarters cup of flour. I'm going to sift it for one reason. I always keep my sifter in here where I keep our, my glasses and everything else. It, it makes it more fluffy. So I'm going to sift in two. There we go. One. Get this water out of the way. We keep water in case, you know, you never know when you need it. One. And one quarter cup of all purpose flour. We're going to sift this, all right? Here we go. I have an old-fashioned sifter. You know, you can still find them, folks. Right, I'm very old-fashioned when it comes to using certain equipment. Now we're going to sift this together. You see how? Because you want to get rid of the lumps and bumps that flour sometimes has. You know, same thing with cocoa. Often you have to sift cocoa. Okay. Now the next thing is I'm going to add my baking soda and baking powder. This is going to make it rise, folks. Let me make sure this is clean because I use this with vanilla. Whenever you use anything, like for vanilla, anything, you have to wash the spoon because you can get into the baking powder in the soda. Now the next thing I want to add in, in here is the baking powder and baking soda. I'm adding in one half teaspoon of baking soda. Okay. One half teaspoon. Make sure it's a teaspoon. That's it. Yep. Yeah. Make sure everything is out, but it's very important because you, you don't want to take any chances and miss anything. And I'm as, adding in one teaspoon of baking powder. Okay, now, move this aside, and we're going to add a little bit of salt. Just a little bit of salt. And we're going to mix it together. Now, we're going to alternate with the cocoa, and I also want to remember one thing. Remind me calculated to grease these pans so it's not going to, we're going to have a problem. I'm adding in milk. I'm adding in one half cup of milk and it's going to be alternated with, with the dry, into the dry and then the cocoa. The dry goes in, the egg mixture and then the cocoa. 
make sure it's a half a cup. Can I move half a cup? Okay, half a cup. Okay, we're gonna alternate, folks. Put this up over here for now. We're gonna alternate, then we're gonna grease the pan. So we're gonna do the dry first. And with milk, cocoa. Start with the dry. A little bit at a time. You don't want you don't want to put everything in. A little bit at a time, then we're gonna to go to the milk and then the cocoa. Okay, we have to get some out of the bottom of the pan. We have some stickage here. I don't know what is the stickage this time of the year, but a lot of people seem to be having the same problem. There we go. It's out. Okay, so whatever you do, just be sure because you think you see chocolate in a pan, do not eat it. It's unsafe. It's sour and you will not like it at all. Please. This is coming along, folks. This really looks very fluffy. Let me grab this spoon. I'm going to mix this up. Make sure everything is out. Then we're going to grease the pans. And then we're going to bake this. See how fluffy this is? This is what you want with batter. All right, I'm going to grab the pans. Now, somebody told me parchment paper also prevents sticking. So we'll see what happens today. If it sticks, folks, God forbid, then I'm going to have to say it's either the cake pans or it's the humidity causing it. We don't know. Grab my uh, glove and we're going to start greasing the pans. Okay. Somebody also said, okay, some of it will get out, don't worry about it. There we go. If it gets onto the pan, <laughs> don't worry about it. The problem seems to be the pans anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to grease this, all right? There we go. Alright. Okay, we're gonna grease it. Because we want to make sure, folks, the paper is greased also. There we go. I use unsalted butter, as you can see. Some of it died onto the pan, but it doesn't it doesn't matter. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to put the batter and try to make sure, folks, if you can. About the same amount in each pan. You don't want one higher than the other. Sometimes you can't help it. All right. The batter is supposed to be very smooth. All right. Spread this out now. I want to make sure that uh, the parchment paper covers the sides as well as the center. Okay, we're going to pop this into the oven and we're going to bake this get a little more out. I hate to waste. It's funny, when we were little kids, we used to lick the batter all the time, but nowadays you can't do that anymore. It's really a shame. A little bit more. Pop this in the oven and bake this for 20 minutes. Yes, the key is, is using parchment paper. Use milk chocolate frosting. Grandma used to make her frosting from scratch, but we ran out of stuff that I needed, so we're going to wait till next week till I get paid and get some more frosting. This is all we need for the center. Milk chocolate is great on devil's food cake. Devil's food cake is a very light, delicate cake. Now look how beautiful this came up because somebody gave me the idea of parchment paper. And it, you, what you do is you take out of the pan and you pull the paper off and the cake will not fall apart. It's really ingenious like what this person told me to do. Might as well use up the whole frosting. Just use a milk chocolate frosting 
And it's always better to make the frosting from scratch. So next week I'm definitely going to do another kind of cake. What kind? I don't know yet. Okay, we don't want to do much more because we don't want to take a chance because it's extremely delicate. I want to try to use up all the frosting. Look how beautiful this is. Oh. Okay, that's it. And here we have a delicious homemade devil's food cake heading into Labor Day weekend from Deborah Wage Home Country Kitchen. Have a great day and please subscribe to our wonderful YouTube channel.